Welcome to General Chemistry Laboratory. In the previous class, we have seen about uh, uh, mass and the volume measurement. Today, we are going to see the second part of General Chemistry Lab, which is identifying substances by using physical properties. That means in terms of boiling point, in terms of solubility, and in terms of density, uh, calculation of density of your unknown substance. So, we are going to see uh, the solubility of your unknown uh, solid, this is your unknown substance, unknown liquid. If you want to know this substance, you can calculate its density, you will see it, and you can see it is boiling uh, point, then you can identify this unknown substance. So, this is your unknown substance, you can say it X, unknown liquid. This is a water. So, we are going to check if your unknown substance, whether your unknown substance is soluble or insoluble in a tap water. So, let me add some amount of water into your unknown liquid. So, now there is a boundary line between the water and your unknown uh, liquid. So, this is homogeneous mixture. They are not miscible. They are not a solution. Solution means a homogeneous mixture in which there is no boundary lines between the two mixed uh, substances. Now, there is a layer, there is a layer which separates the unknown liquid from the water. So, this, our unknown liquid is not miscible with water. So, we have to uh, do another survey, another analysis to, ide to identify who, what is this substance is. So, since your unknown substance, you can calculate your unknown substance, density of unknown substance, and also the boiling point, by measuring this boiling point, you can identify what is this substance is. If the density of, if the density of your unknown substance is less than the density of water, that means if your unknown substance, our unknown substance is less denser than water, our unknown, our unknown substance is the top one, but when we calculate the density of our unknown substance, if it is greater than, more denser than water, the bottom one is our unknown substance. So now let us calculate the density of our unknown substance. So to calculate the density of our unknown substance, just uh, this is a digital balance which is commonly used in a chemical laboratory to measure uh, the, the mass of solid and the mass of liquid. So uh, place a, a graduate measuring cylinder on a digital balance and tear it to make uh, the mass of the graduated cylinder zero. Again, let me connect it with a funnel, then again tear it. Now, I'm going to add your X or unknown liquid, uh, 10 milliliter of unknown liquid to a graduated cylinder. Now, the mass of to calculate density, we require mass and volume, isn't it? Density is equal to mass over volume. So, we take 10 milliliter of unknown substance, 10 milliliter of unknown substance. So, our volume is 10 milliliter. Then, the mass of 10 milliliter of your unknown substance is mass of unknown substance or x is equal to 8.61 gram now we can calculate the density of unknown substance so density is equal to mass over volume our mass is 8.61 gram over 10 milliliter then by dividing the mass of 
the noun substance to its volume, we can get our density in terms of gram per milliliter. Then we multiply it by 100 uh, by 1000 uh, to get the SI unit of density. That means to convert gram per uh, milliliter into uh, international uh, unit of density, which is kilogram per meter cube. So by dividing 8.1 uh, to 10, we can get the density of our unknown substance. That's good. When we divide 8.661 by 10, we get 0 0.861 gram per milliliter. Now, our unknown liquid has a density of 0 0.861 gram per milliliter. So, to convert into gram per, uh, kilogram per meter cube, we have to uh, multiply this number by 1000. So, we can get 861 kilogram per meter cube. This is our experimental density to our unknown substance, unknown substance. So, this is our density, the accepted value, the accepted value uh, for these unknown substances, this unknown substance is a cyclohexene. I use a cyclohexene as unknown substance. The density of cyclohexene, uh, the accepted value or true, the true value of cyclohexene, density of cyclohexene is 811 kilogram per meter cube. So the difference between 61, uh, 861 and 811 is our experimental error, our experimental error. So to reduce this error, you can repeat it, you can repeat it three times, so you can get the accurate value of density of your unknown substance. So now we are going to see the boiling point of your unknown substance or cyclohexene cyclohexene so to now or to measure the boiling point of cyclohexene you can transfer this into uh, a test tube then place it in a water bath then when this cyclohexene starts to boil you can record it is boiling point by using digital thermometer so as i said before since the density of our unknown substance is 800, uh, 811 kilogram per meter cube, and the density of water is 1000 kilogram per meter cube. Since the water is denser than cyclohexene, the, the bottom one is the water, and the bottom one, the substance that is the bottom to the this layer is water, and the top one is cyclohexene. So we can differentiate it in terms of density. So let us see the boiling point of our unknown substance. To now the boiling point of unknown substance, just transfer five milliliter of your sample into a test tube by holding the test tube using a clamp. Then <coughs> place it in a water bath until this unknown, your unknown sample or cyclohexene begins to boil. As soon as the cyclohexene begins to boil, just we record it is boiling temperature or it is, or it is boiling point by using digital thermometer.
So as we know theoretically, the boiling point of cycloexene is uh, 82 point something, 82.8. So we got practically 82.2 degrees Celsius. So our unknown substance is, we can conclude that our unknown substance is cyclohexene. So this is all about identification of substance by using physical properties. So for the next class, you will see about solution to operation. Thank you.